All right, so welcome to Photoshop. So today we're going to be going over how to optimize the program to run faster. Um, so most of you probably aren't going to go buy a new computer to make it run faster. So I'm going to show you how to deal with what you have to make Photoshop run as efficiently as possible. So we're going to go up here to Photoshop down to preferences. And if you've never kind of played with any of these, there's lots of stuff that you can do to control on the way it looks or runs but we're gonna go straight into performance all right and so you will see here um, we've got all kinds of stuff going on so the first one is memory usage and this is the amount of RAM so right here you can see available RAM I have uh, 16 gigabytes in this MacBook Pro so I am uh, have the ability to use 13 um, 501 so by default, I'm pretty sure they usually set this up around 70%. Um, could I, if I was new, I was just going to be running Photoshop that day, I could easily bump that up to 100%. But when I'm using Photoshop, a lot of times I'm running other programs as well. So I'm leaving that memory left over to run other programs. Because the worst thing you want to do is be working on an image and then have your computer crash and have to start over. So I leave that at 70%. Um, I wouldn't go any lower than that, but definitely if you've got lots of memory, you can bump that up because um, most of the programs that you're most likely going to be using won't use that much. So that's step number one. You want this as high as you can get it. Step number two, graphics processor settings. So on my computer, um, I have a, uh, an additional graphics processor. Some computers, the uh, graphics processor is built in. Um, and you'll see those like the Intel, whatever. Uh, that's usually put in. So mine's separate. So I have selected this little graphics processor and I am running uh, OpenGL Engine. Um, you can also run CUDA on these things as well. So you can see we've done this. And when you select or hover over that, it will give you in the description down there what it actually helps you with doing. The fact is, um, it doesn't help a lot with most of the stuff that you're gonna be doing in Photoshop unless you do some funky things like Smart Sharpen or some of the blurs and stuff like that. It will speed that drawing effect up. Next is history states. So I have mine at 50. I don't usually go more than 50 states. So that means uh, when you're toning an image and you do less than 50 states or right. So there's I do less than 50 adjustments. Sometimes I do more. Usually I do less. It really just depends. So if you need to go back in time, it's only going to remember 50. All right. The lower you have this, obviously, the faster it's going to run. So if I want this to run a little bit faster, I can lower this. It's going to uh, not have to remember as much cache, and then the computer is just going to run faster. For me, 50 works. Um, a lot of people only use 20. It really depends if what you're doing. If you're just doing basic, simple toning, 20 is probably going to be fine. So I'm not sure what the default is. It might be around 20, but I'm not positively sure. So cache levels. Um, you can read this here. Uh, I have mine set at four in cache size of 1024. So you can go up a little or down a little, but that seems to work good for me. The next one is actually pretty important. So a scratch disc. So you can see right here, my scratch disc is actually an external hard drive. So it's gonna remember or store information and run it on a separate hard drive. So instead of taking up memory on my hard drive, though I'm running an SSD, which would you would think would make it faster, um, I don't have a lot of room. You can see I've only got 81 gigabytes left versus on this one, I've got ridiculous amounts of room left. So I usually run a scratch disk on a separate external hard drive. This is a pro-grade hard drive that I have here. Um, made by Hitachi and it is really fast so um, that's why I've picked this hard drive versus some of these others so um, setting up your scratch disk 
So that's basically it for optimizing Photoshop to run a little faster. Hopefully that was helpful. Leave your comments and questions below. And don't forget to subscribe.